Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Um, you can hear me well. Right. Yeah, super. Uh, who of you is dealing with optimization problems? And who of you is using Python? Okay. Okay. Um, so this might be interesting for you. Um, I remember in the Open Mock workshop in 2018 in Zurich, we had two breakout groups. And one breakout group was um, tackling the issue of how could we speed up the IO mode to either some functionality, some uh, some tweaks or whatever. And the other breakout group was uh, dealing with jump. Julia, how could we actually use our energy models in Python and rewrite them in jump in order to make them faster? And uh, during the last three years, none of these two approaches actually worked out. Um, and so we just came up with, the own, with, the, with our own idea and said, okay, let's make our own approach and let's tackle this, uh, this topic. And so in Pipesa, we came up with a uh, with a uh, in-house code that would write an LP file to uh, so that would write the optimi optimization problem to an LP file, which could then be read by the solver. And that was quite quick. And uh, after this code was working, we actually came up with the idea: okay, let's package this thing uh, in order to make it available for the community. And what came out is a package which is called LinuPy. And is, it is there to boost your optimization problem in Python. And how does it boost? Uh, how does this work? Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, so if you compare how many uh, memory uh, resources, uh, how much memory resource and how much time uh, Payomo takes, uh, probably you have experience with that. It's quite a lot. And if you compare it to jump, you see a large difference. And we tried to actually with Linupy to target into that direction of jump, and we actually achieved that. So here you see the overhead time, that is the time which is needed to pass the optimization problem to the solver. Um, and the overhead memory um, for Linupy, Jump, and Payomo, there's certainly different uh, or other packages which serve the uh, same purpose, but most of us are using uh, Jump or, Lino, uh, or Payomo. And you see that Linupy is actually quite fast. It is nearly as fast as Jump and even more memory efficient than Jump, which is quite an achievement. And in order to, to show you what, uh, what servers we, we support, it's Heist, Ruby, Cplex, Express, JLPK, and CBC. And there's even more to come that we want to integrate. And from a resource perspective, if you even combine these two, time and, and memory, and you multiplicate them, uh, multiply them, then you see actually Payomo is really bad because it takes a lot of time and a lot of memory resources. And if you compare these two to Linopy and Jump, it's quite, uh, quite a difference. So just to give you a hint on how the uh, syntax is working in Linopy. It is very much aligned to pandas and very much aligned to X-Array. Uh, so it's working with coordinates and labels of, um, of variables. And here you have, for example, a generator, a set of generators, which is coal and gas. And you would define a Linopy model. And with that Linopy or to that Linopy model, you would add a variable, which is called here in the end production. And it has the coordinates generators. So we have a production for coal and gas. And if we want to say, okay, these two productions from these two facilities, they should be bound to an upper limit, let's say 100. We write that in this, in this manner. So we take the sum, as we know it from Pandas uh, operations, we take the sum, and this is less or equal than 100. And this gives us a, uh, or this returns us the linear expression that actually these two. Uh, these two entries are bound to this upper limit. And like this, you have these operations uh, that you can apply to arrays of, of variables and you can combine arrays of variables. And all of this is quite fast because it is, um, it is using X-Array and Pandas in the background. So you can install Linupy with pip and conda um, and we have a open, as we know it and as it is, uh, uh, demanded by all of us, uh, we have an open repo, uh, which is under pipesa slash lenopi. Um, and I think that's all from my side. And I would thank you.